People can be seen walking along the sidewalk on Capitol Avenue before the crash. The video also showing bystanders rushing to help. Comey was later arrested and charged with DUI. Police body camera video showing Comey dazed and confused after the crash. All happening just blocks from the state house where Comey had been in committee hearings until 4.30 that afternoon. I'm telling you now, sit down. I'm trying to pause this. Sit down! Don't you just love when government thinks they can do what they want and they can use their government privilege to get away with the same things that you get in trouble for? Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. How much do you have, do you have to drink? Uh, three, three or four beers. Three or four beers? Where was it? Well, you know, you can't have an open container in the state of North Dakota, okay? So I'm going to have you step out of the vehicle. And then what I want you to do, I want you to follow the pen with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Would you like me to do a dance? So what I'm going to uh, request is that you provide a specimen breath in a, it's called an alcohol sensor, otherwise known as a, a breathalyzer. Yes, sir. Are you happy to provide that? I'm not going to do that. You know why? Why is that? Because I'm like two blocks away. Okay. You guys are f***ing picking on me. Okay. And you, so know, I... you guys are going to regret, you guys are going to regret picking on me. Okay. Yeah, because I'm... you don't know who the f*** I am. But First of all, watch your mouth, man. There's no wallet. I'm doing you a favor. You're doing me a Shut the f*** up. Get, right, get in the car. Get in the car. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around for a tale most bizarre. A saga that reeks of booze, bad decisions, and political hubris. We're diving deep into the heart of Williston, where Republican state rep Nico Rios turned a routine DUI into a circus of absurdity. This is not just a story. It's a cautionary tale, a psychedelic journey into the mind of a lawmaker who lost his compass on a drunken night. How's it going, bud? What are you looking for? Look for his registration. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can go in the glove box if you need to. Hey, I'm not trying to give any of you guys any pumps. No. Nope, yeah. Okay. I'm just, like I said, I'm going to give you guys my card to let you know. No, nope, I don't want your card. I need your registration, buddy. Hey, I'm not. I'm going to find Whatever you guys looking for. Can I ask a question? Well, how long's that open bottle of Corona been back there? Nice three, four days. Three or four days? Okay then. Uh, wait, do you know where your registration is in the vehicle? Uh, at least um, April of 24. But do you know where it is in the vehicle? Yeah. I, there's, there, there, there's, there's, there, there's no op an open bottle of liquor. There, 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 I can see there's a glass bottle of, I believe it to be Corona back there. I was just asking. Yeah, but I can assure you that I live two blocks away. Okay. Have you had any alcohol to drink tonight? Not in like, what is it? It's uh, midnight? In like six, seven hours. Yeah, it's uh, 11.40 right now. Six, seven hours. Oh, okay. How much do you have, do you have to drink? Uh, three, three or four beers. Three or four beers? Where was it? Uh, at the restaurant. Yeah, okay. famous days. Another secondary question. This is expired by like four months. Do you have like a newer one or a more recent one? I definitely do. Okay, that's totally fine. So where'd you get that wristband at? Uh, probably the f whatever club that is in by next to uh, I don't even know. I don't go off often. Okay. Next to uh, the f***ing place. Give me a second. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Fuck. Slaters? The club player Slaters. Okay. okay. When, when, when were you there? This is what I'm gonna have you do. Okay? Like two hours ago. Okay. Because okay. you have that wristband on and there's an open container in your car. When we do, I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle, okay? Hey, that open container was like a weeks ago. Yep, well, you know, you can't have an open container in the state of North Dakota, okay? So I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle, okay? Can you let, let, can, can give me five seconds? Nope. Can you unlock your vehicle so we can step out and you know, come out? Okay. Alright, let's step back. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you get your box, please? Thank you. Or, uh, I don't know if he goes or anything. Nope, that's totally fine. I just wanted to, you know. Nope, we're just oh, having a quick fine. little conversation. Okay? I'm on Padua. Are you going to do it? Yeah, I can do it. I I'm feel so. Alright, what I'm going to do. Yes, sir. I, so, I, I, I don't mean to be any. No, you're good. So you said it's been six hours since you had last drink? Yes, sir. Okay, then. So, 7 p.m. It's like 2 a.m. now. Okay. I live two blocks away. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I want to conduct a, a series of field sobriety tests, okay, to make yes, sure sir. you're good to drive. Because I smell alcohol in your breath and you, you're slurring your words a little. And I said with the, the Slater's wristband, but you said you're coming from Famous Dave's. Um, so I just want to run some uh, field sobriety tests. Are you happy to do that? Absolutely. Why not? Awesome.
dispatch flight to Delta. Okay, I don't mean to cause a gas Nope. I'm going to be roadside in this driveway because it's not a deprivation period. Alright. So. Yeah, do you have a. For protagonist Rios, a first term elected official and a fresh face in the conservative wave, decided to take a wild ride on December 15th, a ride that ended with flashing lights and the cold embrace of the law. But Rios wasn't going down without a show. According to police records and the unblinking eye of body camera footage, our esteemed representative transformed into a verbal Houdini, spewing homophobic, racially charged, and discriminatory tirades at the officers. In a move that would make Gonzo himself raise an eyebrow, Rios tried to dazzle the officers with his business card instead of his license. Pamela Birch Fort, Florida State Conference of NAACP Branches, waves in opposition. Anita Dick is an opponent. Waves in opposition. Holden Hiscock is also an opponent. Waves in opposition. Do something? Can I have you open up your mouth and take your open up your mouth? No, nope, not blow it. Yeah, lift your tongue up. Lift your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Perfect. Thank you. All right. You're good. You can stop. So, like I said, if you just stay stand as you are with your feet together and hands on my side. What I'm actually going to do? We're going to go over to the sidewalk. Just that way, we're away from traffic, bud. You can do this for me, bro. All right. Take care of it, bro. Take care of it. That's right. No, I don't want you on the ice. You just take a couple of steps back. All right. So I'm just going to test and make sure that you're... Uh, more when you do. You see the tip of my pen? And just look at the tip of my pen for a sec and just hold that. The bottom or top? The, the top, the tip of it. I got you. And then what I want you to do, I want you to follow the pen with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? What I want you to do, I want you to follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head, okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir, I got you. Okay. Okay, then. Now, just keep following it with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Yes, sir. Reset, please, <laughs> Okay. Would you like me to do a dance? Just one more. Just uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go up now, okay? So yes, same sir. thing, just follow your eyes and your eyes only. Hey, where are you from? I just, can, I, can, I, can I no, come down? No, just, time, we're can, doing no, test? no. just uh, I need to do this test, right, bud? Just stand still with your feet together and your arms on your side, please. Time out. No. Where no. are you from with your accent? Okay, if you don't continue the test, I'm going to take as a refuse, sorry, right? Sorry, yeah, no, I, I'm not going to refuse, guys, but obviously okay. you guys are cops. Just put your feet together and your arms on your side, yes, bud. Sir. Just follow your eyes and your arms only, please. Can keep my head straight? Yeah, please. Up. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to move on to another test. It's called the walk and turn test. So what I'm going to have you do is, if you just step back a little, just so we can. Uh, actually, we'll use. Uh, it's good. We're going to use this line. You reckon nine, three, one thousand four, and you're going to do that until you're told to stop. Yes, you understand? I can, I can do that. Yes, sir. All right. In your own time, you can start. One thousand two, two thousand three, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna get on a flat surface. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, that's perfect. You can stop that. I just need to, uh, and my colleague might be grabbing a, a bit of paper. I'm just going to read you something. Um, are you grabbing it? All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to read you something here. It's a little bit uh, wordy, but I have to read it verbatim, so it might sound a little funny, okay? Hey, can I ask you a few things? Just uh, let me read this real quick, because I've got to read question. this to you, okay? The officer shall inform the individual that North Dakota law requires the individual to take the screening test to determine whether the individual is under the influence of alcohol and that refusal of the individual to submit to a screening test may result in revocation for at least 100, 180 days and up to three years of the individual's driving privileges. Do you understand that? Yeah, I okay. understand, sir. So what I'm going to uh, request is that you provide a specimen breath in uh, it's called an alcohol sensor, otherwise known as uh, a breathalyzer. Yes, sir. 
Are you happy to provide that? I'm not going to do that. You know why? Why is that? Because you know, I'm like two blocks away. Okay. You guys are f***ing picking on me. Okay. And you, so know, I... you guys are going to re- you guys are going to regret picking on me. Okay. Because I'm... you don't know who the f- Okay. Just one second. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm gonna give you a chance again. Will you provide the test? No, sir. Okay. And you know what? Sir, this moment on your underwrush DUI. Can I place on my handbag. I'm gonna have uh, another thing. Hold that. Roll a cup up. Cheers. Just a couple more things I need to read to you. Okay. No, I don't have any cons trouble you guys. Any cons trouble with me? I'm just about to try to do that. Do I find the rest of the UI? Alright, so I'm going to put him back in your car, okay? Uh, After you read okay. him, I'm just going to read some. I'm just going to read some real quick. You have the right to remain silent. You do- You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney and have them present while being questioned. If attorney cannot, if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you prior to any question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not make it, answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these yeah, rights? Have yeah, I read them to you? Yeah. With these rights in mind, you so will talk to me. What's that? Okay, do you, answer, like, do you understand these rights? I've read them to you and with them in mind, you will talk to me. Yes, sir. So, um, can, can, um, what can I do to, to drive my uh, truck off, at, drop it off at my place? Uh, I'm going to read you one more thing and then uh, we can worry about your vehicle, okay? The law enforcement officer shall inform the individual North Dakota law requires the individual to take a chemical test to determine whether the individual is under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. And refusal of the individual to submit to the test directed by the law enforcement officer may result in verification of the driver's privileges for a minimum of 180 days and up to three years. So what this request is, is down at the jail there's another machine, it's called the Insoxalizer 8000. We will be requesting two specimens of breath from you. Are you happy to submit for that? Can we at least drop my... Place. Okay. Like two blocks away. Hey, listen, we're asking. He's asking you a question first. Let's start with that. Okay. Are you willing to submit to the intox other eight thousand? Are you not? Simple as that. Yes or no? I will submit that if you let me draw my off. Okay. You're not going to you be driving your vehicle, okay? No, I, I, I so, don't. but what we can do, we can lock your vehicle, okay, and we can bring the keys with us. There's two of you. How many? Uh, uh, not driving that car yeah, we'll, that we'll, far. So this is. It's literally like two blocks away. Listen, this is what I can do though. Instead of leaving it on that side, I can put it over there. I can put it right over there when it's no, more I want, out I want to drop, I want to drop my truck off. All right, okay. no, we're not doing that. So we're gonna we're go to this vehicle. Oh, we're going. You're so. a okay. Yes, we're gonna go to the rear passenger side of the vehicle. There's okay. Reason nobody respect. Okay. There's no need for that language, bud. You guys gonna run some more than I will. I just can't guarantee that. All right, just hold on for a sec. Hold on for a sec. Just don't go in yet. Okay. As of everyone. This vehicle has been searched, there is nothing in there. Anything that's found, once you leave, is going to be related to you, okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Uh, hey, hey, hey. So it's easier to scrap them then. Hey, I'm, I, I, I mean, no respect to. Uh... Alright, I'm just going to. You ain't got any weapons or anything on you, have you? No, sir. Right, I'm just going to search you real There's quick. There's no weapons on my car either. So, what do you want us to do about your car? So, what I can do is I can roll up your window, shut your vehicle off, and you can have your keys in your possession so that when you are released, a sober individual can do it, or hey, I'll that's, tell the you best. What. that's the best. We're not moving the car, Those are, that's your only option. I'll drive it to my place. No, and I, I can't. No, I, I can't probably We're not doing that. All right. No, 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 no. Are you good? Can, can you guys give me you five seconds? Are you happy for us to park the vehicle? Right, or you can, want can, can you give me five seconds to no. you? No. Okay, step in the car, bud. No, just get in. Step in the car. Go ahead and get in. Hey, where are you from? It doesn't matter. Alright, where's the keys to your vehicle and we'll, we'll turn it off and lock it? It's, it's inside my uh, uh, transmission. Do you want them with you? Simple yes or no? Uh, no. You don't want them in? You want them in the, your car with you? You want them to just left in there? We can leave your car just like that if you want. If you can pull it over to somewhere where it won't get hit. Yeah, fine. I can move it over more and I'll leave it there, shut it off and give you the keys. keys. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, All right, we'll do that. There's, was there an S on the end of that? How many fa- Is it one or two phones? Two? Alright, I'll ask. Do you want your, uh, phones? There's two phones in there. Do you want those and do you want your- uh, I would take two phones there. I would appreciate it. Okay. Because I, I gotta call Attorney General directly to let these guys know what you're being a-
What do you mean? Okay. Just to uh, let you know, all of this is video and audio recorded on body camera, including your language, right? Uh, hey, do you hey, want your wallet? It's all your cameras right here. Have you got a wallet? It's in my... 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 Fucking... God damn it, my... My arms are hurting. Okay, okay. Have, have you got a wallet in the vehicle that you want? My wallet is in my ass. My left. Yes, my ass. My wallet is in my left. Yo, it's in your pocket? My left Yes, sir. Okay, you wanna hop out? I know I'll grab that for you. That way, it's, yeah. that's uncomfortable for you. God, yeah. Dude, my fucking. Can you, can you think I'm gonna run from you, Olivia? Yes or no? Step out, I'll grab your wallet. Can you at least put. Here you go. Uh, he did want his two phones, yes. You want your two phones? You want your code too? Yep, yeah. no, there's no there's no wallet there. Hey, first of all, watch your mouth, man. There's no wallet. I'm doing you a favor. You're doing me a Shut the f up. Get, all right, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. There's no wallet there. Turn it off. Get in the car. Can, can no, get in the car. Oh, so I thought I had one. My bad. Nope, not in there. My bad. Dude, my wrist hurting. Can you listen? Listen now. A classic power move in the theater of the absurd. He even played the "Do you know who I am?" card, a timeless classic in the world of political folly but the show was just getting started. As Rios teetered and tottered through the roadside sobriety test, failing with a flare only a politician could muster, he lashed out with words sharp as knives, hurling slurs and accusations. He pleaded to take his truck home, only to meet the unyielding wall of law and order. Hey, so where are you from with that accent? It's about 50 dollars. Uh, originally from England. Hi, sir. How the hell are you in the county? county. Uh, there's just some opportunity. What's that again? I felt like there was opportunity. So, uh, how does some... You were born in England, right? Yeah. How does somebody born in England become a uh, uh, police officer in North Dorset? Same as anyone else. What do you mean, same as anyone else? Which went to the academy. Because I don't right, think people think England should be the rest of America. Okay. But, I mean, that, that's a completely different uh, debate, right? Am I wrong or right? That's so, your opinion. When were you born in England? What year? Uh, that's not relevant, buddy. What's that? That's not relevant. Officers wrestling, do, do, do you love... Where are you I don't know what you mean. Are you proud to be from England? Yeah, I like my country. I have. What? Yes, I like my country. Are you proud to be English at least? Why is that relevant? Because. Why? What are you doing here in North Dakota? Arresting people. Your your country is being taken over by migrants and this and refugees, right? Am I wrong? You're arresting me. Or driving home. Well, people come into your country and rape your women. Yes or no? And I'm the f***ing bad guy? Yes or no? Tell me. Tell me, bro. Yes or no? You can't even answer me. Because you know you're f***ing wrong. Dakota, how many of your friends and family members have been brutalized and terrorized by migrants? And you're arresting me. Good for you, bro. Good for you. You betrayed your people. You sold your people off. 
perpetrator. You can't even answer me. You can't even respond to me. You can't even look at me. Because you know I'm right. Because you know I'm right. How long have you been in America, sir? You can't even answer me. That's how, that's how pathetic a cup you are. You can't even answer me, you bitch. How long have you been in the United States? You're destroying your, your people in Europe are being destroyed and raped and pilgrimage. And you're arresting me. That's how pathetic and weak you are. You fing coward. You fing bitch. I'm not even drunk. And you know I'm right, you fing bitch. Over there in that corner, door 174. Just go to that door, please. Okay. I just changed your job. I, I don't mean to be. I, I, I don't mean to give you this time. will be added to your property. I'm uh I don't mean to be rude. Take, sit, take a seat. Take a seat. No, I, I'm take a seat. I don't mean to be rude. Sit down. I'm telling you now. Sit down. I'm trying to apologize. Sit down. I'm trying to be nice to the staff. The climax of this fiasco saw Rios in the back of Officer Welch's cruiser, demanding his phones to call the Attorney General. A call, by the way, that never happened. He even tried to turn off the unyielding gaze of the body camera, a futile effort in the face of digital truth. Our anti-hero's tirade reached its zenith with xenophobic rants and more slurs, painting a picture of a man unmoored from reality, desperately clinging to the tattered remains of his dignity, and settered. In the aftermath of this nocturnal misadventure, Rios offered an apology, 
a mea culpa wrapped in regret and the promise of never again. The Democrat NPL party called his actions reprehensible, while the state Republican party expressed deep trouble over his behavior, clearly stating it didn't align with their values. This story, dear viewers, is more than a tale of a politician gone wild. It's a reflection of the human condition, a reminder that power and status are but thin veils that can slip at any moment, revealing the raw, unfiltered chaos that lurks beneath. Buy the ticket, take the ride. But remember, some rides end with flashing lights and a one-way ticket to the Hall of Infamy. And with that, we close this chapter of political gonzo madness. Remember when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. Stay tuned for more tales from the edge.